Waterways Township, South Bryan's largest master plan residential community, is proud to sponsor the broadcast of all Wildcat Athletics. With charming new low country homes and our coveted coastal Georgia lifestyle, the folks at Waterways invite you to drop by for a personal visit or find them on the web at waterwaystownship.com. Waterways Township, come see this special place you could call home. And go Wildcats! You're listening to the voice of the Richmond Hill Wildcats. Uh, pretty hell with Low Country Radio this morning. We're here with the head coach of the Richmond Hill Wildcats uh, baseball team. And uh, what, what what do you think about this upcoming season? Well, I have a lot to think about right now. I just got finished stuffing my face full of great breakfast and, and some nice fellowship with our parents and players. Um, but I'm excited. You know, these guys have been in the program for you know four years. Um, they've had some great role models to look up to in the past. Um, some recent success for the most part, uh, and just a lot of good things to build on. Awesome. How many seniors do we have coming back? Uh, off the top of my head, I think we have eight. Uh, either seven or eight seniors is what we'll, is what we'll have this year. Um, I think we had eight last year and nine the year before. So our senior classes are beginning to be real solid in numbers um, and just as solid as in, in just great young men in, in character. Awesome. I know baseball and uh, your, your pitching staff has to be, or your pitching pitchers have to be on top of their game. Do we have some good pitchers this year? I'll tell you what, we're, our inner squads, uh, typically we do them one day. Um, we're having to do them two days right now because we have that many arms. Wow. Yeah, so we're, we're really excited about that. And uh, I think any baseball person would agree, you can really never have too much pitching. Uh, just having that kind of depth is going to be a luxury, we hope. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, we, we feel like we're going to be able to run out a lot of good quality arms. They're going to give us a chance to, to win some baseball games. Awesome. Well, I know we've uh, been out to the field and we've looked at the field and y'all doing a lot of uh, renovations and all out there. Can you tell us about some of the renovations and uh, what do you expect uh, from it and uh, how's it going? Yeah, we, you know, just a, and just a huge shout out to our, our board of education, you know, what they've done. Um, just improving facilities, not only baseball, but just, you know, our campus and it just in the community in general. They've done one heck of a job of, of kind of realizing that need and, you know, just really attacking it. Um, and then Pope Construction, for they have just, they have just really been uh, stand up when it comes to, to doing all this stuff for us. They've, they've really worked hand in hand with myself. And, and, and as a coach, you know, you really, it's fun to coach baseball and to win baseball games and, and interact with players and parents, but it's kind of your dream to be able to build a baseball field. Um, and so this has been a lot of fun for me. I will say that I'm I'm ready to just do baseball and not do general contracting work because I'm not very good at that. Uh, but it, it has been fun. Uh, you know, and, and to be honest, we really want to give our athletes just a first-class experience for four years. Um, you know, the percentage of baseball players that – they get to go on, or athletes, athletics for that matter, to get to go on to the next level of play is so small, and we realize that, and so we wanted to just just have a facility that they can call home, they can be proud of, um, and just give them a great experience for four years, you know, just one they, they, they'll never forget and talk about for a long time. Awesome. Well, I know you got your hands full. You got a bunch of young kids, and you're making them adults. I know my son and, and Paul Green's son uh, plays on your team for you, and uh, well, you're a good uh, role model for those guys, and, and we appreciate all your efforts and all the time and uh, energy you put in for the baseball program, plus uh, mentoring these young kids. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, when I first started coaching, you know, those uh, it's, I was a little bit younger, and, and uh, the winning and losing was extremely important to me. And, and I can tell you, after a couple years, we just kind of sat down as a coaching staff, and we sat down as an organization. Uh, we were going to lift weights that morning. And we sat down and we got a whiteboard out. We got the whiteboard out and we said, we got to change some things. You know, we, we need to establish what some core values are going to look like for our baseball team, um, what it's going to look like in the classroom and the community and on the field and, and just the whole, you know, all the aspects of life. And once we started doing that, we really started focusing on that portion and even a little bit less on the, the X's and O's, we saw the success go up. Uh, and, and I don't think that's, I don't think that's a coincidence at all. Um, I really don't. And you know, now that we've been really harping on that for the last few years, I think it's kind of it's kind of played itself out, and, and it's shown that that it's a that's a recipe for success. You know, holding holding kids to high standards and, and just really 
really stressing the important, the very important things in life. So when these guys are out of here, they're, they're great husbands and they're great fathers and they're great teachers or great presidents of banks or just whatever kind of community impact they're going to have, that they're going to be great for it, or great uh, doing it. And luckily we were able to use the game of baseball to teach that. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you, and we look forward to a great baseball season. I know that uh, our basketball season and our football season has been a big, huge success this year. And uh, I, I know that we've been in the playoffs uh, for how many years now, the baseball season? Um, this will be this, this will be my seventh year coaching here, um, and I believe this this was our fifth year. I think it was our I think this was our fifth year in a row. Um, doing that so I mean they've had a lot of success as far as making to the playoffs here before but just kind of the recent recent run about, about the last five years I think it's five awesome so we're going to make it six I hope so. <laughs> yes we will I sure so, so all right we appreciate it very much thanks for uh, all you do and uh, we'll be uh, broadcasting all the games what do you think about that I'm excited I'm excited um, you know coach Bland is from Wayne County and so we we get a lot of uh, and Wayne County is very successful and Justin McDonald does a heck of a job down there um but I know they're they're big on the radio side, and Chad's always like, "Come on, man, we're gonna get the radio." And I said, "Ah, you know, I know Low Country Radio's got some got some good things going right now. I'm not sure if they'll do baseball." And and then I got you know talked to uh, I talked to Paul, and then I got an email, and I'm like, "Yeah, let's go." So we're excited about that. We're real excited about it. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, and we appreciate it. And uh, we'll be we'll be tuning in. Awesome. Appreciate it. GeoVista is not just a credit union. GeoVista is a local community sponsor. It's a financial partner, and it's an educator for our young youth tomorrow to make a better and brighter financial future for themselves. You're listening to the voice of the